Hey guys, welcome back to KU Good Evening News. I'm Wally and... And I'm Lillian and this is actually our first time doing this, so wish us luck as we go through this for you. Yeah, we don't really know what we're doing and we're not the two best conversation people, so we'll see what happens here. Yeah, we're pretty much doing this, getting ready for finals and getting ready for summer. Do you think you're prepared for all your classes? <sighs> God, no. <laughs> We've got a whole lot of work to do before the end, this semester ends. A whole lot of work to get the grades up, but I think we'll be just fine. Yeah, I have got, quite a bit to do, but are you looking forward to summer? Very. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it a lot. It's going to be a good time. Be doing some good construction work, see how that goes. You got any plans this summer? Yeah, um, I'm actually going to Europe for a little bit, so Ooh. pretty much won't be back home for the summer, which I'm excited about. But. It's Always good to be away from the parents. Yeah, something random that I heard earlier. Did you know Millie Bobby Brown got engaged? <laughs> Some strange things going on there, <laughs> seriously. Yeah, sounds weird. But um, I'm hoping that everybody has a great time with their finals and enjoys this show. Seriously, it's going to be a great show. We have a lot in tune for you guys. We got news, sports, weather, and we have a little game show to, fi to finish it off. I'm excited about the game show. It's something I haven't seen in a minute. I know. I'm really excited to see what it's all about. Yeah. I haven't been on a game show in my life. What about you? Never have. I wish I have. I feel like I can make some good money. I know. So, this could be you. I know. Let's see who's going to win and let's have everybody enjoy the show. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, KU. Tuesday Good Evening KU News Update. President Joe Biden is planning on running for re-election next year, but did not officially announce his candidacy during a speech at the White House Easter Egg Roll on Sunday. According to a New York Times poll, a majority of Democrats would prefer that he does not seek another term as president. At least two other Democrats have confirmed their intentions to run, including Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the nephew of late President John F. Kennedy. A gunman killed five people and injured six more, including a police officer at a shooting in a bank in Louisville, Kentucky, yesterday morning. Police confirmed that the shooter was among the dead and declined to say how he was killed. Later reports indicate that 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon was a former employee at the bank. Texas Governor Greg Abbott is continuing his push to pardon a U.S. Army sergeant who was convicted of murdering a Black Lives Matter protester in 2020. Daniel Perry was convicted after the prosecution argued he had provoked a group of marching protesters when he ran a red light, driving towards them during a demonstration. Perry's attorney argued in favor of self-defense after the protester raised an AK-47 rifle before the shooting. Carol G. called out a Mexican magazine for photoshopping her cover photo and celebrity stars are praising the Colombian singer Stan. Recent Oscar winner Jamie Lee Curtis backed Carol's Instagram post in which the singer said that her face doesn't look like this and that she didn't appreciate the insinuation that her face and body needed to be improved. If you've ever been frustrated by KU parking, you have an opportunity this week to share your opinions. The Spring Parking Forum will be on Thursday afternoon at 3 p.m. in the Pine Room at the Kansas Union. If you can't attend but still want to participate, there is an online survey you can fill out through KU Transportation Services. KU freshman Abraham Frederick won honorable mention honors at the Model UN National Conference in Chicago this past weekend. 25 students competed over the four-day event by debating and crafting legislation with other delegates. That's it for today's news update. For sports, let's toss it over to Caleb and Maddie. Spring sports are hitting their mid-season stretches just as the weather is getting warmer. The baseball team won two out of three at West Virginia this weekend to improve their overall record of 15 and 15 and the Bearcat record to five and four. The team is currently in, in action at Legends Field in Kansas City, taking on Texan Southern in the Buccaneer Classic. The softball team dropped three in a row last weekend against the number two team in the country. Oklahoma State swept KU to knock the Jayhawks into last place in the Big 12 Conference standings. Kansas is now 19 and 17 overall and just one and five in the conference with a road trip to Texas this weekend. The women's golf team reached the finals of Big 12 match play this weekend only to fall to Texas in the championship round. The team will be off until the Big 12 championship in Dallas beginning on April 21st. 
The tennis team beat K-State this weekend in the Sunflower Showdown. The Jayhawks are now 14-4 overall and 4-3 and in the Big 12 Conference. They'll close the regular season with matches against Oklahoma State and Oklahoma this coming weekend at Rock Chalk Park. The men's track team closed out the Lloyds Willis Invitational at LSU with a victory in the men's 4x400 meter relay. The Jayhawks ran a 3.083 to just beat Penn State across the line. Both the men's and women's teams will compete in the Kansas Relays this week at the Rock Chalk Park. This year's KU Relays will mark the 100th anniversary of the meet. Although there have been three times in history when the relays did not run, World War II and most recently the COVID-19 years. The meet begins Thursday afternoon and will continue through Saturday night. Admission is free for all KU students. And that's it for today's sports update. After the break, Ashton will be here with the weather. This fall is a club organization here at KU. We have uh, 31 of them. Um, it's basically a step up from intramural sports. We get to do fun things like travel and play other colleges. Um, we travel to places like Florida, Dallas, Nebraska, Arkansas, um, just to name a few. So I tried out, um, ended up loving it so far. I needed that sport team environment to really just make my brain cohe like work together well because there was that element that was missing. So club baseball really gave me that. Um, it gave me a group of guys working towards a common goal um, and kind of made me into a part of that, which was a lot of fun for me. It, it, it gave me a bunch of really lifelong friends. Um, um, Dallas this past year was one of my, like one of the most fun moments I've had. Um, we found a bunch of hole in the wall spots to eat, really explored downtown Dallas, and we had a blast of the time. Um, Good evening, KU. If you take a look outside right now, or if you've been outside at all, you can just see how clear the skies really are currently. Um, just blue skies, the clouds not too many, the sun's just been real bright. Hopefully you got out and enjoyed some of this nice weather. As you can see, we're not going to have too many clouds moving in for the evening. And then our current temperatures right now, they're in the 70s. So you can just see that 79 here. And we're just going to take a quick look outside and we're going to shoot it over to Indy. Hi, and welcome to this beautiful outside weather that we have right now. It is absolutely gorgeous compared to what we've had in the last couple of weeks, uh, especially with all that rain, that horrible wind a few days ago. But now, after all of these heat waves, we're finally in shorts and t-shirt weather. I think it's about time for them to open up these pools, get us out swimming in shorts, t-shirts. Uh, Honestly, I might go on a run this afternoon because it is stunning out here. And if you can get outside, this is absolutely some fly a kite weather. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Indy. That just looks um, like great weather out there tonight. If you can see, our temperatures are just going to be falling in to the 60s. It's going to be, even by midnight, it's going to be in the 50s. So it's going to be a pretty nice evening out there tonight. And if you see, the skies are going to be pretty clear. <laughs> we have clear skies moving in and then it's going to be 54 for the evening. That's where we're going to bottom out at. Tomorrow our hourly planner is going to be um, starting into the 50s and then we're going to quickly move into the 70s by noon and then we're just going to finish the day out into the lower 80s. So it's going to be really nice out there this weekend and today if you have any senior photos coming up or anything this is the week you'll want to do it for sure. Um, the wind gusts will be up into the 30s so it might be a little windy but it's going to be great like dog walking weather so get out there and enjoy the weather before some of these storms move in. We have storms on Saturday night and Sunday so I know the KU back baseball team is playing this weekend so if you're out there you may just want to grab uh, an umbrella just in case but we have temperatures in the 80s um, upper 70s it's going to be really nice until these showers move in and that's going to drop our temperatures just a little bit into the 60s and then into the week we're going to just have great temperatures again back into the 70s thank you all right let's get some, uh, let's get some studying done um You know what? This will not take him very long. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go get something to eat. I 
can probably wait till the morning. No. Oh, that's not good. I gotta go and I need to study. Welcome back. I'm Lindsay and I'll be your host for this week's Sports Trivia Challenge. Today's contestants are Liam and Jordan, and as their playoff seasons are right around the corner, today's questions will be from the NBA and the NHL. Guys, we'll alternate questions, which will get progressively harder. Liam, you have the choice of going first or second. What's it going to be? Uh, I think I'm going to go first. <laughs> okay, so here's the first question. What NBA franchise has won the most NBA championship titles? Your options are the Boston Celtics, the Chicago Bulls, the Minneapolis Los Angeles Lakers, or the Golden State Warriors? I'm going to go with the Lakers. That is incorrect. There's no way you just got that wrong. The Celtics have won. The correct answer is A. The Celtics have won 17 NBA championships. Good Lord. Okay, the next question is for you, Jordan. Which NHL franchise has oh. won the most Stanley Cup titles? Your choices are the Boston Bruins, <laughs> the Detroit Red Wings, the Montreal Canadiens, or D, the Toronto Maple Leafs. I, I believe it's the Canadiens. You are correct. The Canadians have won 24 Thank Stanley you. Cup champions. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, Liam, <laughs> the next question's for you. Who is the NHL all-time leader for goals scored? The choices are Wayne Gretzky, Gordy Howe, Mark Messier, or D, Alex Ovenchkin. Oh, <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to go Wayne Gretzky. That is correct, Liam. <laughs> he can't go wrong with Gretzky. He can't go wrong with Gretzky. <laughs> he has scored 894 goals in his career. All right, Jordan, who is the NBA all-time leader for field goals scored? The choices are Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt Chamberlain, LeBron James, or Michael Jordan. Wait, is it, wouldn't field goals scored just be like the scoring leader? Yes. Okay, then it's LeBron. The correct answer, you are incorrect. What? <laughs> the correct answer is A, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I'm so confused. He has scored 15,837 field goals in his career. Oh, All right, we have record. a different set of questions. We're going to have true or Dang. false. Jordan, you now have the option of going first or second. What's it going to be? I guess I'll just go first, get it over with. <laughs> okay, the first question is a true or false. Joel Embiid has scored the most points in the NBA. Is this true or false? Like ever? In this season, sorry. I think that's still false. You are correct. Let's Jason go. Tatum has scored 2,225 <laughs> points, the most in the NBA this season. All right, the next question for Liam. True or false? Clay Thompson leads the NBA this season in three point baskets made. Mm, true? Correct. Thompson has oh. made 301 three pointers this season to lead the NBA. Would have had no clue. All right, Jordan, true or false? Connor McDavid leads the NHL with 151 <laughs> points scored this season. Should be an easy one. This is not easy. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's true. Yeah, you are correct. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my Good gosh. Guess. McDavid leads the NHL with 151 points and still counting. All right, Liam, true or false? The Boston Bruins lead the NHL and wins this season. True. Yes. The Boston, Boston has won 63 games this season and still counting. All right, our last question is for both of you. It'll have two separate answers. So, which two teams lead the NBA and NHL in home attendance average this season? All right, um, Liam, you can go first. Uh, so I pick NBA and a NHL? Yeah, you have teams? to pick two separate answers. Okay, I'm gonna go with the, the Warriors. Okay, for the NBA? Yeah. Okay, and then what about the NHL? I guess I'll go Rangers, New York Rangers. All right, and oh, then I Jordan? Um, I have no clue, so I'm going <laughs> to pick different answers, I guess. <laughs> I think I saw something about the Kings having like a really good attendance record. Okay, that's for the NHL? No, no, Kings for the NBA. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, definitely not the Kings for the <laughs> NHL. Um, and then I guess I'll just go with the leading team. I'll go with the Bruins because they got the most wins. So Kings and Bruins. All right, so neither of you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> 
So the Good NBA, Lord. for the NBA, the answer is Chicago Bulls. They lead the NBA <laughs> with an average. The Bulls. <laughs> they lead with an average of 20,527 fans this season. And then for the NHL, the Montreal Canadiens are in the lead with 21,077 oh, <laughs> fans per game. So I'm not sure who the winner is, so we're going to say you guys tied. <laughs> so thank you both for playing. <laughs> That's our show. Thank you guys for watching and have a great night.